Hi everyone, I'm Whitney from WhitneySews.com and today I'm going to show you how to install a snap using a manual snap setter. You will need a snap setting kit, an awl, and of course the snaps themselves. And I will link down below to a kit exactly like this one in case you don't already have one for yourself. Each snap is made up of four pieces, two are caps, and then you have a female side and a male side of the snap. The bag the pieces come in should have some info about which die to use for your snap to set it. If it doesn't, you can simply take one of the caps and test it in your dies to see which it best fit and decide exactly where your snaps are going to go and make a dot exactly where you want the snap to be using either a pencil or a pen. Use your awl to carefully poke a hole through your item right at the dot that you marked. So place the cap on so the stem goes through the hole and the flat side is on what will be the outside of your project. Then add one of your other pieces and to me it really doesn't matter which side the male and the female are on as long as you have one side being male and one side being female so they do fit together after the snap has been set. Now it's time to actually set the snap. Rest the cap in the die and make sure it is laying flat. Then carefully squeeze the snap pliers closed. This will compress the stem and set the snap into place so it is secure. For the second half, place the cap so the flat part is on the inside of your project and the stem is through the hole. Then put your last snap piece on. Rest the cap in the die like before and squeeze to set. If you have any other questions about setting snaps, you can definitely leave them in the comments down below and I will do my best to answer them. There are so many different projects that you inc can incorporate snaps into. Um, some that I've made are my car seat poncho, I have a bag tutorial coming up that's going to use snaps, and um, I've made you know, cloth pads, cloth diapers, all different things using snaps. So they are really so much fun to use and they are a great way to finish off the closure of a project. Now if you want to see some of those other tutorials that I mentioned where I did use snaps, you can check them out right over here to the side. And if you're not subscribed already, make sure to do so by clicking my picture right down there. And then come back next Wednesday and I will have another new tutorial for you and I will see you all then. Bye!